What's up everyone, my name is Augustine, I'm a cruise ship musician and this YouTube channel is dedicated to anyone who works or wants to work on a cruise ship. So if that's you, make sure you subscribe and you check out my other videos because you're definitely going to find them useful. So in today's video I'm going to give you some reasons why you should not work on a cruise ship. I made another video called why you should work on a cruise ship and since I do work on a ship I do think you should work on a ship as well. But like anything else in life, there's downsides as well. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you some of them. The first reason why you should not work on a cruise ship is the internet. Wi-Fi on ships sucks. First of all, you have to pay for it. I mean, some companies give the crew members free internet and in some other companies, you can use WhatsApp for free, just for messages. But if you want anything else, you have to pay for it. But in most companies, you're gonna have to pay for internet and it's quite expensive. For example, on here, it's 20 pounds for three gigabytes. The passengers pay twice as much. And I would be happy with that price if it was good internet, but sadly it's not. It's pretty bad actually. So you can use it for messages, no problem. A little bit of Instagram and that's it. Like forget about YouTube or not to even mention Netflix, Spotify, it just, it, it won't work. It would take forever. So as a young person who uses internet quite a lot, this could be very bad. You can get a SIM card and use a roaming package, like for example, I've got Vodafone and I pay £38 a month and I've got internet pretty much anywhere in the world. And when I'm in the UK it's unlimited and when I'm abroad it's up to 25 gigabytes. So it's pretty good internet, it's fast and everything, I can watch stuff on Netflix, but it only works during the day when the ship is at port. In the evenings when we're sailing, it's not gonna work because of course we're in the middle of the ocean. So then you have to switch to the ship Wi-Fi. On the bright side, not having good internet all the time kind of helps you being more social because instead of staying in your cabin watching a film, you might go for a drink with friends. So it's good. On the downside, you might end up drinking a lot. And also when you have good internet, you might find yourself watching stories of people you barely know on Instagram and just wasting time really. But when it takes 10 seconds to load a picture of someone's dinner, it gets you thinking, do I really wanna see this? And most of the times the answer is no. So that kind of helps you stop wasting your time. Right, the second reason why you might not wanna work on a cruise ship is the rules. Some companies are stricter than others, and as far as I know, this company is actually quite chilled, so, you know, the rules are not very strict here. I've heard stories of some other companies where you can't have a beard, so you need to shave every day, you can't have piercings or tats. Here it's not like that at all, everything's fine. And there is a dress code, of course, so, most people have uniforms during the day. Musicians are the only ones who don't have a uniform, so that's great for me. But yeah, most people do have uniforms. And in the evenings, you can wear whatever you want, but it has to be smart. But of course, these make sense. I mean, most of the rules make sense. Some others don't really make sense, but it's just the amount of rules that you have to remember. There's areas where you can go and areas where you can't go and there's, you know, things you can do and things you can't do. Um, you know, for example, you have to keep clean conversation every time you're in a passenger area. But you know, sometimes you gotta be able to shout fuck. As a performer, you're not allowed uh, plastic bottles on stage. You gotta get one of these. No electronic devices in passenger areas. I break this rule all the time though, it's fine. When you go for dinner, window seats are for passengers only. You gotta wear your name tag at all times and it has to be on the left side. You find out about most of these rules by breaking them. Most of the rules actually make sense, but it's more like the amount of rules that pisses me off. It makes me feel like I lose some of my freedom. Which brings me to my next point, and is that you're not 100% free. I mean, you don't, you don't, you can't choose what to eat. I mean, yes, you can, there's options, but there's only so many options, right? You can't choose where the ship goes. You can't choose when to work and when not to work, of course. I mean, to be fair, most people don't have as much freedom as I do back in London because I'm a, I'm a street performer, so I, I play music in the street. And if I wanna work, I work. If I don't wanna work, I don't work. But people with like normal jobs, they don't have as much freedom. So for me, it's like big deal, right? But yeah, you gotta be prepared to lose some of your freedom. It's still fine, you still have freedom, but not as much as you would on land. The next reason why you might not wanna work on a cruise ship is the work hours. So I can't really complain about that because I work just like an hour a day, maybe two hours if it's a very busy day. So musicians do 45 minute sets and I usually do two sets, sometimes three if it's a busy day 
I have done four a few times, but just when I had to cover for someone or things like that, just like maybe three, four times in four months. Anyone from entertainment don't really work that much, more than musicians, yes, but not as much as other departments. If you're in the showcast, you might do one rehearsal and two shows every day. If you work in the shops, the shops are open when the ship is sailing, so it could be anywhere from 3 to 6 p.m. and they close at 11 p.m. or midnight. And on a sea day, they would work a lot because, and on a sea day, they work a lot because they're open all the time. But if you work on bars, housekeeping or restaurants, you would work a lot, like 10 hours a day. Oh, and nobody gets days off on cruise ships. I mean, some companies might give you days off every now and then, but most companies won't. Another reason why you might not want to work on a cruise ship is safety duties. Safety duties suck. So on this ship, we do a drill every other week. I mean, there is a drill every week, a safety drill, but we have different safety card colors. So there's green and there's red. So I'm green and I have to do a safety drill this week, but next week the red ones are gonna do it. So I don't have to do it. So on a drill, they sound the crew alert signal and then the general emergency signal. And you gotta put your life jacket on and go to your master station where your lifeboat is and pretend like it's a real emergency. So you just stand there for like 20 minutes. Sometimes it's longer than that. It could be up to an hour. And they might ask you some questions like, how many lifeboats do we have? Or how many people can a lifeboat hold? Who's the safety officer? Things like that. You also have cabin inspections. So cabin inspections is just about the safety of the ship. They're not looking for drugs. They're not going through your stuff, nothing. It's just about the safety of the ship. So they, they do it once every week. So you gotta be out of your cabin by nine or whatever time they choose to do it they, they let you know in advance it's not like a surprise inspection and you're gonna make sure your room is tidy and you make your bed you gotta put your life jacket on your desk or on your bed so they make sure you got a life jacket and what else oh and you have to unplug everything and you have you gotta hide all your electronic devices which is stupid because they know that we have electronic devices and they have electronic devices as well but you have to pretend like you don't so yeah, that's cabin inspections, it's once a week. And I mean, your cabin is not gonna get inspected every week, but you gotta be out of your cabin just in case. And then the worst safety duty, in my opinion, is something that we do on here every three weeks and it lasts like two hours. So basically when on embarkation day, when the passengers arrive, you gotta check them into their master station. So you just stand there and you ask them what's their cabin number and if they watch the safety video and then on your iPad, you take them off. So it's very simple, but you gotta be there for two hours. So yeah, it's very annoying, but it's once every three weeks, so I can't really complain. That's it, that's all the safety duties. It's not too, too bad, but you know, it's in the morning, so that kind of sucks. Another reason why you might not wanna work on a cruise ship is your privacy. So. I am lucky enough to have my own cabin because I am a solo musician, that means I don't play in a band, I'm just like a one-man show. But on most cruise lines, most crew members have to share their cabin and that kind of sucks because then you don't have any privacy. I mean, if you get along with your roommate, that can be quite nice, I don't know, I never, I never have to share a room. And then if you go for dinner or something, you might run into 10 people, you know, even if you want to be alone. So there's not really a place where you can just be alone except for your cabin. On the other hand, it forces you to be more social, so it's a good thing, but it's mostly a bad thing. And finally, the last reason why you might not wanna work on a cruise ship is giving up everything on land. So for example, as a musician, if you have an agent who gets you, I don't know, wedding gigs, or there's a pub where you play every weekend or something, and then you go away for six months, and you might lose these jobs, you know? not to mention friendships or relationships. But yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about this. It's more like a thought, but you know, just embrace change. And when you go back, you're gonna find new opportunities. Okay, this is all the reasons why you should not work on a cruise ship that I can think of right now. If you can think of some more, please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your experiences if you worked on cruise ships. But yeah, as I said in the beginning of the video, I think you should work on a cruise ship. I think it's a great experience. It's a great way to make money and travel the world for free and make friends. I just thought it'd be nice to share some of the downsides with you so you have a better idea of what working on a cruise ship is really like. 
Thank you so much for watching until the end. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also follow me on Instagram or Facebook. And the most important thing is, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel because I have many videos about working on cruise ships that you might find useful. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.